Welcome to Our Kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. And I'm Nancy Ostrich. Today we have a yummy program for you. Uh, we're going to be making apple pecan salad with honey vinaigrette, a ham and corn chowder, and oatmeal fudge bars. And we're going to start off with Nancy starting her ham and corn chowder. Okay, this is going to be a pretty easy soup to put together. Um, sometimes I don't feel like making soup because I've got to peel this and peel that and it, particularly if it's chicken, you've got to cook the chicken and then skin it and all that. But so anyway, it has a lot of work to make a lot soup. of work. But this one is going to be a lot from some cans and hopefully it'll turn out good because I haven't made it before. So I'm just going to start and I'm going to put into a saucepan one can of cream of celery soup. And this one happens to be 98% fat free. And the sodium now is not that bad in soups uh, compared to what it used to be. But it used you to could, be loaded, didn't it? Yeah. This is about half of what they, they used to have eight to 900 milligrams and this is way down to 450, 480. But you can use uh, whatever kind of cream of celery soup you're would like. And then um, to that I'm adding one and a half cups of low fat. Um, actually I've taken one cup of low fat milk and a half a cup of fat free half and half to make it a little more rich, richer. And this I will just stir together and heat up and while that's happening I'm going to turn it over to Gordy and she will start her bars. Okay, today I'm going to make oatmeal fudge bars and first off I'm going to make a crust. Um, in my bowl I'm going to put three quarters, um, I'm sorry, we're going to put in a cup of um, rolled oats. A cup of light brown packed syrup, I mean uh, brown sugar, light brown sugar that is. And then into that, I am going to add three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter of a cup of baking powder, a quarter of a cup of um, so, um, baking soda, and an eighth of a cup of salt. And I'm going to put them in here, put them all together, and I'm going to stir it up. <clears throat> you want to uh, whisk this together so it's like uh, little crumbs. this all mixed up. You need to put a half a, um, a stick of um, margarine melted, eight tablespoons, and you mix this all together until you get little crummies. stuck in the whisk here. Out of this uh, mixture here, you should keep uh, three quarters of a cup of the mixture so you can put it on the top. So I'm going to scoop out a, some of this. I have three quarters and I'm going to put before you put your uh, crust in your pan you make a sling uh, out of aluminum foil for your pan so you can take them out of the pan easy so I'm going to put my crust in here and I'm going to pat it down in the bottom Take a bottom of a measuring cup and just um, pat it into your pan, like so. Make sure it's nice and even. After 
you get this um, crust put into the bottom of your pan, you put it in an oven at 325 for eight minutes. You bake it until it's golden brown, which is about eight minutes, I guess. This is what it looks like in the bottom of your pan. And I'm going to put it in the oven now. And back to Nancy. Okay, my cream of celery soup and one and a half cups of milk are heating up here. which I have drained. bowl 
I'm going to be putting a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar, packed, two, table, two teaspoons of instant coffee granules, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix this together. To that, I'm going to add a cup and a half of chocolate chips that I have melted. Make sure we get all the chocolate out of here. To that, I'm going to add one egg and two tablespoons of butter or margarine, which I have as promise. <clears throat> I'm going to mix this all up. My filling is filled, I mean is uh, mixed up, and I will, as soon as I take my crust out and it cools a little bit, I will put this filling in, and I will put it back in the oven and bake it a little bit more. And that's it for the filling, and back to Nancy. Boston lettuce, one medium apple, and I've been cutting that up. I, I used a red delicious, but you can use whatever kind of apple you, you like. And I've been putting some lemon juice on it so that it will not get brown. up here with the last of the apple and just throw things around <laughs> so, so we have our partners for to clean up for us right <laughs> Open. They, turn, turn, they, they start to turn. turn. Okay. Um, let's go back and see how our soup is doing. Basically, it just needs to, of course, make the soup the day ahead of time, and it's going to taste better. Oh no! Doesn't it taste always better the next day? Next day. So to finish this up. Um, I'm going to add some more. It's time for the potato. Now you can buy and use another a can of 
diced potatoes um, that have been drained, but I like the red potato, red skin potato. So what I did, I took a large potato and cubed it up and parboiled it, left the skins on, and that's what I'm adding to the soup. I'm doing this at the end. I don't want the potatoes to get too mushy. So we'll add those like that. And if you've got some other seasonings that you uh, would like to add to the soup, you know, play around with it. But there's your... My grandmother used to put salt pork in it. She used to fry the salt pork before she put the milk and the potatoes and the corn and everything in it. And it really gave it a, oh, yeah. a very, very good flavor. So that's basically... Um, when you're serving this, uh, you can sprinkle some... Um, shredded cheddar cheese uh, or a dollop of sour cream or something like that. So we'll continue to heat up. And I think we'll break for a few minutes to get other things set up. Now I am going to put the filling that I made for my bars into the crust that's been cooled that has been cooling anyway. <clears throat> Maybe you could go over the ingredients again. Okay. For the filling, I have one and a half cups of chocolate chips. I have a um, fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth of a cup of um, brown sugar pat, and I have margarine and an egg and salt and baking powder. <clears throat> this is how it is supposed to look after you get it into your onto, or onto your crust. sure it's spread nice and even. Get all my chocolate out here. Excuse me, three quarters of a cup of the um, of the crust, and I'm going to put it on the top of my bars. Um, like that and then 
to the lettuce, I'm adding the sliced apple that I did previously. And thank goodness with the lemon juice, it did not... They turn a different color, huh? didn't turn uh, brown. And then about a third of a cup of toasted pecan halves. Uh, I broke them up.
cream and celery soup and uh, thinned out with some milk and then whole kernel corn, a can of that and um, cream style corn. We added some chopped, um, cubed up uh, fully cooked ham to it and at the end I put in um, one large cubed potato that I had parboiled or you can use a can of uh, diced potatoes. And then to finish it off, I'm going to sprinkle on some cheddar cheese, shredded. Yeah, or you could use some sour cream or some uh, other kind of herbs. Buy it up, put parsley in and uh, some uh, minced onion. To go along with that, my salad was a a mixture of a bib or a Boston lettuce that I chopped up. There come along strips of lettuce that I used. One apple of your choice that I sliced up, nice and red. And about a third of a cup of uh, toasted pecans. And the vinaigrette that I made consisted of your oil and vinegar and some um, honey mustard and honey and um, uh, uh, the honey mustard, the vinegar and um, salt and pepper to taste and the olive oil and I um, whipped that up and I will pour that on the salad. Thank you. 